Now, the 10th annual Board Gosh Energy Irish Book Awards took place in Dublin last night. And Sinead went along to see who all the winners were. <laughs> the Doubletree Hotel in Dublin for the 10th Borgosh Energy Irish Book Awards. Tonight is the Oscars of the book world here in Ireland and there are a lot of very famous faces here from the world of sport right through entertainment. Time to go in and see who wins. I am very happy to be joined by the Ireland AM winner of the Ireland AM Crime Fiction Book of the Year at the Borgosh Energy Awards. It is Jane Casey. Jane, congratulations. Thank you so much, Nate. Now, this has been a long time coming. I think it's fair to say. How many times have you been nominated for the Ireland AM Crime Book of the Year Award? I have been nominated five times for the award, which I think is possibly more than anybody else has ever been nominated. But it's been worth the wait. Five times lucky it is. Are you thrilled? I am absolutely delighted. I cannot tell you how happy I am. It's so different when you win an award compared to being a runner-up. What does this mean when you win an award? Does this change things for you? Where will this go when it goes home? It will go on a shelf where I will look at it every day and say to myself, I won that. <laughs> Jane, congratulations. We are thrilled for you. Well done and well deserved on Thank you very much. I'm just delighted. Now I am very happy to be joined by two very familiar faces. They need no introduction, but I shall give one nonetheless. The fabulous Peter Stringer and the equally fabulous Henry Shefflin. Lads, good evening to you both. Thank you for joining me. Now you are both up for Sports Book of the Year. I know you're both kind of used to being on the pitch. Obviously, that's what you do. So how did the whole book writing process go down for you, Peter? Did you enjoy it? Was it tough? Was it a challenge? Yeah, it was a tough process, um, but enjoyable and nonetheless. I think when you finally... You know, right that final line of the, the last chapter, it's a very rewarding uh, experience. Um, it's probably not something I would have envisaged doing throughout my career, uh, but I'm delighted nonetheless to have it done. Um, and it's great to be here this evening uh, in great company uh, like, like Henry. Well, uh, like, like Peter, I suppose it, it's something totally different from us. Like all the people you speak to here tonight, they're so used to this kind of an experience. So for us, I suppose, you know, both of our, our ghostwriters were sitting with us outside the table. They're a very important part of our project as well, you know. Now you're in retirement. Henry, so will this be a little cherry on top of everything if you do win tonight? Oh, look, look, Peter, to be honest, I suppose we're, we're sports people. When we get to this stage, we're all saying, oh, yeah, we'd love to win. This but an extra. At, but at the end of the day, I suppose this is something that's totally different to ourselves. It's a, it's a bonus, whoever wins tonight, as Peter has said. You know, the, the, the level, I think there was 22 sports books this year. So to be in the top five is a reward for ourselves because, as Peter said, when we were both going to school, we probably didn't think we were going to be at book awards. Well, guys, well done to you both. Two great books, and we wish you well this evening. Thank, Thank you very much. I am now joined by Jim McGuinness, who has just won Sports Book of the Year. Congratulations to you, Jim. Now, it was a tough category. We had Henry Shefflin and Peter Stringer out earlier on. They were hoping to win. You pipped them, unfortunately for them, but great for you. Your book, though, is slightly different to theirs. It's very, very honest and very emotional and very revealing of your family life as well. Yeah, I think, uh, I suppose, when I started out the process of, of writing the book, um, I had a perception in my mind about what the book would be about, but um, very quickly that sort of changed, to be honest with you. And, um, it's quite a difficult process then, writing it, because you, you touch on the loss of your two brothers and a lot of very difficult times in your life. Was writing it cathartic or was it quite traumatic almost to write about it? I think both, to be honest with you. Um, it was something that I didn't factor in, probably, at the outset. And... Um, and the book itself has taken me on a journey. I suppose that's the best way to put it. When the, when the book came out, then you, you don't know how that's going to be received because there's a lot of things in the book that made me go to places that I, I hadn't gone to before. And there's a lot of, I suppose, things within the book that my family had didn't know about either. Um, Were you worried about their response? I was. I was worried about that response because it's very, very personal things. Um, and there was certain things that we tried to speak about before and weren't able to speak about so it was good I suppose for everybody to get the full picture. Well Jim congratulations well deserved. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's all from the Borgosh Energy Book Awards for today but tune in tomorrow when we're going to be chatting to two more winners Joe Duffy and Brezzy. Mm -hmm.